So the information session, it's a joint initiative of Halton Region and Area Municipalities. It's a really good opportunity to learn more about the roles and the responsibilities of members of council, including mayor, councillor and regional chair. It's a good way to get some insight into what the role entails and the scope of their duties. The facilitator, Fred Dean, he's a municipal coach and former municipal solicitor. Participants can really benefit from his experience and uh, learn more about municipal legislation, scope of duties, conflict of interest, and more. So who is the seminar aimed at? Is it strictly for people that are looking to dive in and be a part of the government? Anyone at all who has any interest in running, potentially, um, if, if they've made the decision that they're running for candidates, uh, for to be a candidate. Um, but we also encourage family members of potential candidates to come as well uh, to realize what impact, if any, it may have on family life. Which, yeah, I was going to ask you about that, because I guess family life can change. What do you and what do you find are some of the common misconceptions of people who do not have that life in the public at this point, but maybe entering into it? Uh, well, the first thing, a lot of people do get confused with the various levels of government, uh, but unlike provincial and federal elections, candidates in municipal elections do not run on behalf of a party, they're nonpartisan. Uh, you also don't need to have any previous election experience or, uh, or any experience in politics to run for municipal council. It's open to all Canadian citizens living in Halton, as long as they meet the eligibility criteria. Um, and, and another misconception is depending on the municipality, it's not necessarily a full-time job. Many elected members of Halton's town council, uh, councils are part-time councillors who, who hold other professional positions, volunteer positions, or are self-employed. Now, to run in a particular region, I think this is just kind of a basic question. Do you have to live in the region that you run in? So you do have to live in the, in the area that you do intend to run or own land or be the tenant of land or the spouse of such. Okay, so finally, as far as tips go in your uh, webinar that you're having, um, do you have any tips on removing skeletons from one's closet? Well, that's not something I can uh, speak to uh, mm. because I'm definitely not the expert when it comes to that. However, mm -hmm. Fred Dean, uh, the person who is hosting the session, he will absolutely touch upon that. Uh, he has a lot of experience uh, from his uh, line of work, and he will definitely be able to talk on that on that topic. As well, we'll be offering a live Q&A session during it. So if anyone does have any particular questions that don't come up during his session, uh, he will he will be able to address those questions.